tell us about the type two diabetes studies that you personally conducted and what the results were. So I began working uh, with diabetes really in the 70s uh, for different reasons and also hypoglycemia because I was aware of the connection between blood sugar variations and brain function and also uh, energetic field of protection. Because what I saw is that when your blood sugar is out of balance, particularly when it's low, you can have depression and anxiety uh, and paranoia. There's a variety of things. So we really have to give it attention. Um, I, in that context, I worked with healing uh, type 2 diabetes and uh, hypoglycemia and naturally. I think my first kind of reference was uh, in Dr. Pavel Arola's book, uh, A Better Approach to Hypoglycemia, and some of the things from the 70s were in that. I didn't actively pursue in a larger scale until 2007 looking at treating uh, diabetes. And it, it wasn't the direct intention. I was looking at the effects of live food and putting people on just a, a fasting and live food program. And I began to see, wow, we're having a really big effect on type 2 diabetes. So in around 2007, I began to explore that with groups. And ultimately, I've written uh, two editions uh, there is a cure for diabetes. Now, that's a very radical thing. What do I mean? Because what I learned at medical school, at Columbia Medical School, but all medical schools, there's no cure for diabetes. Oh, well, that's interesting. It's a steady downhill path to an early death between 10 and 19 years earlier. So it's pretty heretical to say, oh, there's a cure for diabetes, when you're told it's incurable. And that's just not type 1, it's also type 2. So what I got is uh, an official study of, uh, of about 120 people, is that for people who were type 2 non-insulin dependent, 61% uh, healed in three weeks. The heal means a steady blood sugar under 100. Okay? And then 100% were off all medications. So that's an important part of the story. The second group were what I call the insulin dependent diabetics. And in three weeks, 24% healed and 96% came off all medications for their diabetes. So that's a pretty good uh, statement. Now, going beyond three weeks, what happened to people? Well, over a year, a much higher percentage healed. I didn't have the finances to track everybody, but when people really stayed on the diet and the approach uh, and the herbs that I used, we got a much, much higher percentage. So three weeks is very fast when you're told you can't heal it, it's a downward path of death. It's like, oh, and we're reversing it in three weeks at a very high percentage. Now, surprising to me, because in my mind, I also saw that type, I thought that type ones really, you couldn't have an effect, but somehow some type ones got into the study. And I say somehow because it wasn't clear. And I was shocked to find that in three weeks, 21% of the type ones healed. And that was shocking to me, because that was not my ex expectation. And about 31% of the people were uh, pretty controlled blood sugar, uh, less than 126, with no medication. So 21% of the type 1s were off all insulin. They began producing insulin. That's a whole story. But as the pancreas got healthier, they began producing insulin. and actually 
their fasting insulin went up, which is how they got off the insulin. And so that was very, very exciting. So I kind of see two ranges now. It's trickier with type one, to be honest. And right now in my work where I um, have programs in uh, outside of Sao Paulo, Brazil, and in Israel, as well as in Patagonia, Arizona, which is my U.S. home base, um, I'm really just seeing type twos now because type ones take more attention. Uh, there's other things going on that can get out of control. I mean, I've literally had a person who's kind of taken our type one who's fast with me three or four times, and then suddenly, while we're fasting, she goes into some degree of crisis, like four times, and she sure me no problem with it. So, I really just work with type twos because I don't, because I'm traveling all over the world. I mean, I've literally spoken in 42 different countries. It's it's a lot. I've seen people from over 128 different countries. Uh, for me to be responsible, I'm, I feel very safe with type twos. Now, what also happens is that type twos who are on insulin, when we take them through fasting, they have to be really followed. This is really important, okay? Because within a week, usually I get them off their insulin three days to a week, but I'm meeting with them several times a day. We're paying attention. This this isn't something you just do haphazardly. So we pay real attention. We slowly, slowly take them off slow. It's fast, and, you know, in pretty much in one week, most everybody's off. Sometimes it goes to two weeks. Along with that, we see people who with high blood pressure come to normal. Uh, in again a week to two weeks, so there's a lot of things that happen in this whole process. Um, I had a, a very interesting lady who was 95 years old who uh, came. She had type 2 diabetes. She came in a wheelchair because she had severe arthritis, and she was on 13 different heart medications. So she took the program, and after three weeks, she was out of her wheelchair. Arthritis is reversed. She no longer had diabetes. She was less than 100 in her blood sugar. And she was off all 13 heart medications. Oh, wow, that's uh, amazing at 95. So there's a, a story. To, uh, there's a message to that. I saw her a year later. And she was great walking around. I saw her in New York City. What is the message? At any age, you can heal. You are not too old to heal at any age at least for diabetes, but we're also looking at high blood pressure, which she had. Um, so it's a really important message for people to get. Yeah, when we're talking at that level, we do need some management, but we are not too old to heal at any age. Very important message. People uh, really kind of give up on themselves with age. Oh, well, it's just a problem with age. No. You're not too old to heal. Now, when I see this, I've also been tracking a variety of things. Most people come in and they already have peripheral neuropathy. And I, I, in my exam, because I do exam, I listen to the heart, take the blood pressure, but I also uh, do a neurological exam. And I see at the end of the three-week program, uh, many of the neurop neuropathies go away. I've also had a person who was legally blind, and uh, after three months on the program, he was no longer legally blind. So I am saying something really important at any age, and almost anything can be reversed. So obviously, uh, well, with uh, type 2 and type 1 diabetes, 85% of the people get some level of retinopathy, okay? And his case was pretty severe. That reversed. And I've seen that with other people, too. Um, people also, 70% have uh, neur neuropathies, what we're talking about. And about 40% of the people have uh, kidney 
decreasing kidney function. And unfortunately, most the biggest cause of death from diabetes is heart attack. So we see a return of heart function and vision and nervous system function. And the most important, which isn't tracked that much in the literature, is return of memory. So people come in and uh, 10 being optimal, they may be a two or three. And literally, after three weeks, they may get to eight or nine. And it was very exciting. As, as a psychiatrist, besides a holistic physician, I'm looking at, the, you know, how's your memory? How's your cognition? So I, I have people rate that before we start. So I am saying it's very exciting to me to see people return their cognition and their memory. I mean, that's a big deal in people's lives to have your brain. And that's one of the big things that are hit. I mean, I can, you can pick it up pretty quickly if you're, you know, a train. I mean, I remember we're looking at buying a car. It's like the car salesman. I said, do you have diabetes? Because I could tell his thinking was impaired. The point I'm making, and he did, but the point I'm making is you you can see it, and you can see the improvement. And for someone like me, um, who values the mind, not that everybody does, but a lot of people do. It's like that's a big deal. So uh, returning of memory, and cognition, and clarity of mind, very 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 important thing. And I see that on my program, and even as soon as three weeks. So those are the kinds of things I see. It's like, wow, this is really exciting. I mean, I really like this because I see people come back to life. Now, another thing is sexual function. And once people have diabetes, somewhere between 10 and 15 years, particularly the men, uh, the circulation is impaired, so their ability uh, to perform sexually is also impaired. Again, circulation improves, and their sexual function improves too. So we have mind, and we have uh, general health, and we have nervous system, peripheral neuropathy, we have vision, and we also have sexual function coming back. So it's really pretty exciting, and just the idea that you can reverse it, and in many cases cure it as soon as three weeks, is a huge message. And again, at any age, we're never too too old to heal. So the whole thing excites me. I just love seeing people come back to life. I mean, I that makes it really worthwhile to see, to see that. And these are good results. And again, over time, if people stay on it, like the person who was legally blind after three months getting his vision back, that's pretty pretty exciting.